Well, hello again and welcome to my channel. I'm Fraser from Metalworking in France. I run a little uh, light engineering workshop here in, in mid, uh, well, it, basically in central France, but it's, uh, it's regarded as being southwest France, but it's more in the middle of France. Anyway, uh, I've got a little job on today. I've got some screws I've got to, uh, I've got to modify. Let me just get them. Uh, <laughs> I've got 50 little guys to do. Basically what I've got to do, I've got to turn the end of them down. Uh, you can see the little grub screw. Um, I've got to shorten them down to about 10, 10 or 12 mil long. Then I've got to fit a brass insert in the end, like this. They're, they're for, for adjustment on, uh, on some slides on a machine for a client. So watch me as we do this. It's going to be quite a laborious job. job. As I say, I've got 50 of these little guys to do. So uh, we'll get on and do this and, and see how the video runs. Okay, so watch for, for the next few frames. Well, the first thing I have to do is mount these little grub screws in the soft jaws. Uh, as you can see, the, the, the soft jaws, because I'm holding on the thread of, of these screws, I can't really put too much pressure on. Uh, so consequently, because they're not holding really tight in the, in the jaws, I can only take small cuts really. Plus the fact that uh, obviously these screws are high tensile screws anyway, so they're reasonably hard. Uh, so uh, yeah, I've, I've had to be a little bit uh, prudent with the cutting, uh, just to try and trim them up. As I say, I'm taking off about five or six mil on the, the actual length of the screws. So there's, as you can see, there's not an awful lot of holding inside the chuck. So uh, yeah, I've got to be reasonably careful. I'll just put another one in just to, to show you how this goes. Uh, and it's uh, just machining off a little bit at a time. Now I'm, I'm actually, Trying, I'm, well, I'm not trying, but I'm actually putting in the, the recess. Now, I'm using an eight millimeter slot drill in the drill chuck on the lathe. So uh, again, I've got to be fairly prudent with it because obviously the slot, slot drill is uh, high speed steel and uh, the, the grub screws themselves, like I said before, they are high tensile steel. So uh, they tend to be quite, quite hard. So I've got to be very careful how I machine these. Here you can see I'm parting off the, the brass inserts. I've speeded this up quite considerably just so that uh, you can see what's involved. Well, here we are. Five little piles of brass inserts. Uh, they don't look much, but they take an awful lot, long time to machine out. Here's all the screws. I've got a... I've already modified, uh, put a, a hole in them. So the next thing is to insert these brass inserts into these screws. Okay, let's see how this goes. So here we see I'm going to fit the brass inserts into the grub screws. I'll put a little drop of super glue, other adhesives are available. Uh, to put a little drop of super glue into the recess and then I can just tap in the, the brass insert. There you are. My little brass insert fitted with a, drop, a little drop of super glue. I've got to machine them off, but uh, that's not too bad. I'll just do another one quickly so that you can see what uh, what the process is. Put some super glue on the inside of the the uh, rebate. Now you can't really see that, but I'm afraid I've got to have it facing me <clears throat> so I can see what I'm doing. Right, super glue is in there. A little bit of swarf on there. Take that away. And we'll just put the lady insert in there. Got a little brass dolly that uh, I used to line them up or to tap it in. And that gets 
locked in solid. So there you are. There's another one done. Quite a time consuming job, but uh, that's the way it goes. Now I've put them back into the soft jaws, uh, just so that I can machine off the, the front edge of the brass uh, insert. So, and I'll just, you know, I'm just doing it in one operation, just to face off and put a slight radius, just break the edge on the brass insert so that uh, it doesn't foul up on anything and uh, it'll look quite neat. So yeah, they don't look too bad actually. I'll try and show you this uh, a little bit later in, in, well, in some slow motion, if we can. Uh, again, like you, as you can see, I'm using the, the soft jaws. This is slow motion now, so that uh, it's, it's not, very, uh, not very clear, because the definition of the camera doesn't work very well on slow motion. But uh, it could be, you know, it can show you a little bit more in more detail, uh, although the, 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 the picture is not uh, particularly very good resolution. Um, so it, it's, it's machining up okay. It's, uh, it, it's, it'll, it'll look a bit strange actually the way it'll be machining with it being so slow, but hopefully you can get a better idea of, of what's actually involved in, in doing this process. So here we see all 50 of the grub screws in all their glory. Well, there you are. Nice little job in the end. Uh, it was quite uh, time consuming. As you can see, these little beasties are quite small. Uh, try and get this to focus on the camera. Uh, it's not easy. So uh, anyway, uh, quite time consuming to make these things. 12 millimeter fine thread on the grub screw and then I've inserted a piece of 8 millimeter brass uh, to act as a cushion. I think they're for something that slides along so this, the idea of this is uh, the slide doesn't get damaged, the brass can run through it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that video uh, and if you did, did so, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and look out for more videos in the future and don't forget to look back at some videos in the past. Okay. So in the meantime, I'll bid you farewell. Goodbye.